Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to create a local PHP workspace for your computer. And this tutorial is for Mac user or Apple users. So if you are using a PC, simply look at my PC version of this tutorial. But in a way, the reason why we want to do this, the reason why I want to create this local environment is it's going to be a whole lot easier and quicker to test and debug your PHP code that we write in the future. So to do that, we need two applications to be exact. So let's just go ahead and visit my friend named Google. And let's type in XAMP. Some of you may or may not have heard of this software. So click on Apache Friends XAMP. And here you'll see a list of platforms that XAMP supports. And since we're using a Mac computer, we want to click on the Mac OS X. And here you'll see a list of steps. It's fairly straightforward, but I'll go ahead and do it here. Step one, we want to download it, of course. And we want to download the latest version, which is here. So click on this link. And we'll be brought to another page. And of course, the pop up for the downloads will pop up. So for the sake of time and for convenience for you, I have already downloaded this application. So I'm just going to stop it and close out of this browser. And here, if we look to the right, I have my XMP on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it and install it just like any other application. So as you know, just drag it on over to the application folder and you're done installing it. So close out of that. Again, I've already installed this software. So we're going to go to our applications and we're going to scroll down. It's probably going to be at the bottom and click on XMP the folder. And here we'll see a XMP control icon. So we're just going to click on that. Now we'll see two pop-ups. One has getting started and then we have controls over here. First thing you want to go ahead and do, make sure Apache is start or set to start. If it's not, just click start. For my SQL, click start on that. You may have to enter your password for security reasons. And for FTP, it doesn't really matter, but you can start it if you want to. I'm just going to leave it off for now. So the important thing is to look over here to the left, getting started. It really gives you everything you need. It tells you exactly where to place your files and how to access your local web server. If you want to look at it from that standpoint, as well as some MySQL information when we get into that in the future. So to make sure XMP is running correctly, again, we want to open up our web browser and go to this link it has here, HTTP localhost. So I'm just going to type that in or you can click it. And as you can see, this is the page you'll be brought to. This is your index page of your server or your root folder. We can change this, but I prefer to keep it this way because it has a lot of shortcuts to different things that I may want to access. So this is all you have to do to create the local workspace. This includes Apache, the PHP, things that may be quite difficult for others to install. So this is a really great free application that I definitely recommend and is what we'll be using in the future tutorials. So next, once we have the application XMP set up, we want another application and this is a text editor. The text editor that I enjoy using, which is free is text Wrangler. And you just click on this bare bones software. And here you're brought to a page and just scroll down until you get to how do I get text Wrangler? Download text Wrangler here. So just click on that link, click on download again, the pop up show up for your convenience. I've already downloaded this, so I'm just going to stop it. And then we're going to close out of the web browser, go over here to the text Wrangler icon, double click it. And again, just like any other application, just drag text Wrangler over to that folder and it's installed. Now I've added that to my docs for easy access. I'm always using it. So let's go ahead and launch that. So a couple of things we want to do. First, we want to go into the preferences. Hit that. We want to change a couple of things. We want to set this up for you so it'll be easy or already set up for PHP source code. So we're going to go into languages and for install languages, languages, if I can speak, we want to scroll down to PHP 
and we want to make that default if it's not already for me i've already set this up so go ahead and click on make default next click on options and then here we want to go under editing we just make sure everything on your screen looks exactly like it does on my screen so here you can see we have more settings and different configurations that we can set we also have colors which is great and is an Another reason why I really like this text editor is because I can really customize it to my own personal needs. So for the comments, this is probably one of the only things that may be different for you right now. I prefer to have it green. It really stands out so I can easily read the comments for the different components in the source file. And the next thing we want to go to is text status display. Again, make sure your screen looks exactly like mine. One of the few things I believe that isn't checked on yours will be show line numbers and show tab stops. So these two things are very important. Make sure those are checked. And that's about all you need to really configure in here, unless you have some of your own personal preferences. All right, so before we continue here, there's something else that I should show you. So let's go to Finder and let's click on applications and let's scroll down until we see XM. Click on that folder and here you'll see more folders. Now there's only one folder that we care about here and that's htdocs. Now for some of you all who own web hosting accounts, you know there's a certain folder or root folder that you have to upload your files to if you want visitors to see or access. So let's try to think of that folder here on our local server as the htdocs folder. So click on that and as you can see here, it already contains some files and some folders. And we could have already assumed that because when we went to localhost in our web browser, we was brought to this page, had some colors, it had some links and everything. So we could assume that XAMPP already by default has a couple of folders. Now, the reason why it's going to this XAMPP here instead of just localhost is because of this index.php file. So we click on this and open it. We can see what that file contains. Now all this file is really doing it is directing your web browser to this folder here, which we can see here, it's a parent XM. So by default, I prefer to keep it this way because here you can see we have a lot of different things we can check, right? So we really don't want to change this. And again, for you guys who already own web hosting accounts, you already probably know a way around this. We can create a new folder, right? we can create different areas in our account such as a new website or if we want to store images or some downloads whatever you want to do so let's go ahead and do that let's create a new folder and i'm going to name it the php basics it's really up to you what you want to name it i'm just going to name it that so i click in here or let's click on php basics you see it's nothing there right so if i go there in my web browser the way we do that is just type in that folder PHP basics and as you can see there's nothing there that's correct so let's change that let's try to test to make sure everything's working correctly so something to mention here about text wrangling for the majority of my tutorials I'll be using shortcuts I won't be going to file and then clicking on save or file to create a new file I won't be going to file a new text document so this is just something to note but the shortcuts are listed to the right. So if you want to create a new document, just hit Command N. If you want to save the file, just hit Command S. So I'm just going to create a quick little PHP script here. Don't really worry about what exactly everything means or what it does. I'm just going to say, hello, Robert, and in this PHP file, hit Command S to save it. And now I need to find that folder that I just created. So we're going to click on Applications, Find XAMPP, Find HTDocs, and hit the PHP Basics. Now you may want to create a little shortcut or something on your desktop or place it in your doc so you can easily access this folder. So I click on that folder, and here I'm going to name it index.php. Now this is important. Always remember .php extension, or the browser's not going to really recognize it as a a PHP file. So I'm going to hit save. All right. And as we can see here in my folder, we have this new file, index.php. And by default, the browser looks for an index file. So by default, I'm not going to have to type in here index.php. I can just go straight to this folder and it's automatically going to load that file. So I hit enter. As we can see, it says, hello, Robert. And that's really 
everything to it to, to try to really test to make sure it's working correctly. I will have this uh, code uploaded to the website as well so you can test to make sure the folder that you create is actually working. So that concludes this video and I will see you in the next video.